Welcome to the Kitsy Shelf. My name is DM. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really simple box envelopes that measure five and three quarter inches tall by four and a half inches wide, and it's got a depth of half an inch. So these would be perfect um, for A2 greeting cards, which is the standard greeting card size. And if you're just curious, this layering piece that you see here is the uh, size of an A2 greeting card, which measures four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And um, these box envelopes would be really great to put in like um, several A2 greeting cards if you wanted, like I did in this box here. So in this one, I just have like uh, two greeting cards that I made. Or um, they would be really great to put in like chunky types of um, greeting cards that normally wouldn't fit in a, a like a flat envelope like I did here. And um, so this is this card's really chunky. It's an easel card that I made. And um, so you can definitely fit like a chunky type of card in here. And then um, it doesn't have to be a card that you put into these envelopes. It could be like other goodies as well, uh, like I did in this one. This one's just holding a shaker that I made. And then um, for the envelopes, I did give them a Velcro closure, but of course you can give them like any type of closure you want. And then you could also like decorate them in any way you want as well, if you wish. And then um, for these, I specifically made them so that I could use my um, like background dies. For example, I use um, my Lawn Vaughn background dies to decorate these and um, I made them so that I don't have to cut up the background dies. And um, this is what the, like some of the background dies look like that I used to decorate them. And then um, the really nice thing is that um, like you can layer the envelope to give it, you know, a really nice look. So if you wanted to stick around, we're gonna start the tutorial. For the base of the envelope, I'm using a 110 pound cardstock that I got from Michaels as it provides like a great amount of sturdiness. And uh, to start, you're gonna need to cut a piece that measures 10 and a half inches by seven inches. And um, what we're gonna do is on the 10 and a half inch side over here, we're gonna score it at half an inch. Five inches, five and a half inches, as well as uh, 10 inches. Okay, and then we're gonna flip this onto the seven inch side. So just make sure you have the seven inch side over here. And then we're gonna score it at five and three quarter inches, as well as six and a quarter inches. Okay, and now we're gonna uh, make some uh, cuts into this. So it should look like this. And I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna make the first cut, which is gonna uh, look like this. So I, I'm gonna cut up to this line over here. So just cut the slit here, as well as this uh, side. I'm gonna make a slit here like this and like this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna uh, cut this off. Okay, and then uh, this as well, uh, just this little flap right here. Okay, and then um, also we're gonna cut this little uh, square off over here. And then also we're going to cut off the uh, bulk here so that when we fold this up, um, we don't get like a warped looking uh, box. So just cut off some of the bulk on these little flaps here as well as this and this side. And then we're going to cut a bit of bulk on this as well. That way, you know, our um, envelope is gonna close nicely without having a warped look. So it should look like this. And then um, I did make this little template so that you could see uh, the cuts a little bit better. So let me just uh, bring that in here. Okay, uh, so this is the paper. And then uh, this is what uh, your envelope, like these uh, other pieces over here, we're gonna cut that all off. 
and then just cut off the bulk on these uh, flaps. So uh, that's what it should look like. So I'm just gonna leave that on the screen here for a moment. So um, that's what you should end up with. And then next we're gonna make this cut over here, like this uh, decorative cut, so that you're able to like reach into the envelope and take out uh, your goodies like easily. And then uh, to do that, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take uh, my sheet back in here and then on this side over here, without the little flap over here, we're good. We're just gonna uh, turn this around like this. And then um, you're also gonna need your ruler, which I've got here. Before and, I um, make my marks here, I'm just gonna fold this up so that you can um, see what I'm doing here more easily. So I'm just gonna fold uh, this flap over here, as well as uh, this one here. And I'm gonna take my bone folder to burnish it. Okay, so it should look like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pencil, we're gonna make a one inch mark on going down on each side here. Okay. So uh, just measure uh, one inch going down, uh, make a mark there. And then I'm gonna make a mark over here. And then uh, before we connect those uh, two lines here, I'm also going to um, make a one inch mark going in on both sides. So um, over here, this would be the start here. So I'm going to make a mark here at one inch. And then on this uh, fold line over here, just go over one inch. And then with these two points, we are going to connect those. So it should look like that. And then we are going to connect these points to the corner over here. Yeah, so it should look like uh, this on this side and then on the other side over here it's kind of hard for me to do this on camera okay so uh, over here uh, and then just connect that to the corner so it should look like that that's what we're gonna be uh, cutting off okay so uh, just grab your scissors and uh, we're gonna cut that off And um, so this is what it should look like. This is what we're going to end up with. It's going to look like this. And then uh, just fold. What we're going to do next is just uh, fold and crease uh, all the uh, fold lines here that we made. Just uh, fold everything. Take your bone folder and uh, crease everything. And then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting this uh, box together even though we still have like one more flap to add over here so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start uh, putting the box together and um, so the first thing is we're gonna put some glue on these little flaps so uh, that we can put it together like this so I'm just gonna grab my uh, liquid glue here so just add the glue to the flap there Okay, and I'm just gonna hold this in place first before I add the other one. And um, this just takes a moment to um, bond here. And then we're gonna add glue to the other side as well. Hold it together for a moment. And then uh, what you're gonna do next is add glue to this flap here so that we could close it like this. I'm just using a uh, liquid glue, but you could use uh, whatever you prefer. and just uh, close this up. Make sure everything lines up nicely. And because this flap is gonna be a little harder uh, to um, hold together, I'm just gonna grab my ruler and then uh, go like this so that I can like make sure that it's adhered properly down there. Okay, just 
hold it in place. And then um, the last thing is to add the glue on this side. Just make every make sure everything uh, lines up. And it so your box uh, should look like this. And then um, while this dries, what I'm gonna do is I'm go we're gonna start making uh, the flap here that goes over here. So to do that, all you would need to do is cut a piece that measures four and a half inches by three inches. And um, so I did do that off camera. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this here so that you can see this. And then we're just gonna grab our bone folder and then we're gonna make some uh, score lines. So what we're gonna do is on the uh, three inch side over here, you're gonna score it at half an inch as well as one inch. Okay, um, so it looks like this. And then we're just gonna cut off the bulk on this little uh, flap at the bottom here, which I'm gonna go like this. And then um, on, just flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. And then I like to round these corners here. And so I'm just going to grab my corner rounder and I like to round it on the um, half inch side. I'm just using my We Are Memory Keepers uh, corner rounder here. Okay. And then once you do that, all you have to do is uh, just fold and crease these lines. Okay, and then we just have to adhere this to our envelope. So I'm just going to add some glue on this flap over here. Grab my glue. And then we just adhere to this. I like to use the uh, liquid glue because it uh, gives me wiggle room. and it just adheres onto the flap like that. And then uh, just make sure that things line up at the back. Okay, and then um, next, I'm gonna give you the uh, measurements for this layering piece just to make your life easy. So to layer the envelope, I'd like to leave a 1 8 inch border. So you're going to need a piece that measures 4 and a quarter inches by 5 and a quarter inches, uh, which I did cut off camera and it should look like this. And then on the back here, um, to get this part, all you have to do is um, you're going to uh, measure 7 8 inches down on both sides. And um, if you're not sure, this is what 7 eighths of an inch looks like. So I'm just going to grab my ruler here for you to see quickly. And um, so that is 7 eighths of an inch. Okay, and then so you measure 7 eighths of an inch down as well as 7 eighths of an inch um, going in this way and in this way as well. And then you're going to connect your um, the marks and then connect those marks to the corner here. And then you just cut that off. And then uh, that would be your layering piece, which I'm just going to do uh, quickly here. And then try to cut this as uh, nicely as you can because you would be able to use this uh, layering piece on the back of your envelope uh, so it doesn't get thrown away. Like this here and then... Okay, so that's what it should look like. And then, um, so you could layer your envelope here and then uh, here as well. So uh, that's what it should look like. And then for the rest of the panels, uh, just leave a 1 8 inch border if you like. Um, that's what I did with mine. So uh, that is our tutorial. And then also, um, once you have everything layered, you can uh, put a closure such as a Velcro closure, uh, like I did over here, or any type of closure you wish. And um, so that is the tutorial for this box envelope. Thank you so much for trying this out and thank you so much for watching. Bye.